Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week, the UK has just announced that they're going to go into their second lockdown. And it moved me to want to share something that I know about reality versus illusion. And for some of you, this won't apply. And even if you're not going into lockdown, this will be of interest to you if you're finding that there's circumstances in your life that you're at odds with, that you're unhappy about, cross with, upset with. You can apply what I'm going to share with you to any of those things. But it just came to mind because um, obviously with lockdown, it causes a wide group of people to suddenly be thrown into a very similar situation. Now, I'm quite lucky myself in that my business doesn't really get affected by lockdown because a lot of it's virtual anyway. But I know for a lot of people, um, they're worried about their health and what the increased numbers of the coronavirus can do to them. They might be worried about their jobs and um, their work and their income. They might be unhappy about having to stay closed up all day in the house with whoever they're going to be with. They might share a room with somebody or have a flatmate or neighbours or whatever else. And so this video is for all of those people that are struggling with the idea of lockdown or anything else, any other situation in their life that they're fighting with. So first of all, I'm going to share with you the concept of reality versus illusion. So illusion is our idea that our opinion about what happens in life matters. And that's not to say that you shouldn't be allowed an opinion, but quite often we get so attached to our opinion that we work it over in our heads over and over and over and over again and become really agitated by the overthinking of a situation. So for instance, the lockdown in the UK, it, it's reality, it is going to happen. How you feel about it going to happen, is it doesn't really matter because it will still happen. And when we think that how we feel about something is incredibly important and we get very attached and involved with that feeling of the thing that's going to happen. It can cause us a lot of pain and anxiety and it doesn't necessarily change the reality of the thing that's going to happen. So the illusion is our opinion. So anytime you say but, because, why, anytime you justify and say that something shouldn't happen or it should happen or it must or it mustn't, all of those things are your opinions on something that is actually happening. Now, I've got something completely abstract to share with you, which I normally share with clients in regards to this topic. And I don't know why, but one day it popped into my head and now I can't get it out. And that's the, the moon. So let's say, for instance, well, the reality is that the moon is kind of a creamy, yellowish, goldeny colour. And I'm not going to sort of go into details and arguments of the exact colour of it, but it is the colour of the moon. Now, let's just say that you are not happy with the colour of the moon. You think it should be bright pink with purple spots or something like that. And every time you look at the moon, you get really upset and agitated that it's not the colour you think it should be. Your thinking it should be different does not change what the moon is. The moon doesn't care how you feel about it. Just like the government shutting down England and doing a lockdown, Yes, you know, as a collective, they most likely do care and it's most likely something they weigh up. But as an individual, they don't really care what you think about the country locking down. It's a necessity, it's got to happen, or so they think. And the same with the moon. The reality is it is the colour it is. The more that you think it should be a different colour, just like the thing with the lockdown, the more you think it should not be happening, the more upset and agitated and hurt and all those things you become. The only person that gets hurt when you sit in opposition to reality is yourself. And Byron Katie has a lovely phrase, and I'm not, I don't know, I'm not, might not say it verbatim, but it's something along the lines of, if, if, you, ever take, if you ever fight with reality, the only person to get hurt 100% of the time is yourself. And, and I think that's incredibly true. So what can you do? The first step is to accept reality. So accept that the moon is the colour it is. And if you don't like that particular colour, then decide what can you do about that. So you could get some coloured glasses and put them on whenever you look at the moon. You could choose not to look at the moon. You could, all sorts of things you could do 
to decide on your action in regards to the moon. In regards to lockdown, you have to accept that lockdown is going to happen. However you feel about it, whatever you think about it, it is going to happen. And whatever the situation is in your life, it is the way it is. Once you've accepted it, then you need to ask yourself, so what am I going to do about it? And that's that changing, this constant ongoing story going on in your head about what's wrong with a situation into an action of what can I do about it that changes everything. So in regards to lockdown, whatever it is that you're unhappy about happening with lockdown, instead of getting cross and talking to people about how awful it is and how it shouldn't be happening and how this is wrong and that's wrong, rather ask yourself, okay, this is happening. I have to accept that it's going to happen. Now, what do I choose to do about it? Who do I choose to be in regard to it? And how do I choose to converse and spend my time in regards to, is there anything that I could do to really make use of this time during lockdown? Is there anything that would really benefit me during this time? And as soon as you start looking at those things, you can feel inside yourself the energy changes. Instead of being a stagnant, well not stagnant, but like a trapped swirl and vortex of agitated energy, suddenly it has a path to take and a flow and a direction that it can go in. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this little video and I hope that if you are going into lockdown in the UK and you've been upset about this, this might help you during that time. And I hope that if you're not necessarily going into lockdown, but you have something in life that you've been agitating over, it gives you some clarity on how to suddenly address the problem, how to start asking yourself, what can I do about it rather than this shouldn't be happening? Um, I've got loads of resources on my webpage and I'll put a link to my website in the show notes below as long as well as a link to Byron Katie and some of the work that she does should you be interested to follow up with that particular comment that I made. Um, I also do coaching, I'm a consciousness coach and should you like to interact with me and um, hire me for my services I would be more than happy to do a free chemistry call with you. Again, on my website, you'll see there's a contact tab. Just send me an email and I'll arrange some time to chat with you about that. So much love from me to you and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.